Welcome back into Game Fanatics to another first look video. In this one, we're going to be checking out Archeo Gem. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hats up and whips out. The wilderness mysteries await. Explore lush biomes. Use your trusty whip to extract wildflowers, mystic powers, and collect rare gems in this dynamic precision platformer. Unearth archaeological marbles and become a legend. It's a platformer. <laughs> uh oh. Be forewarned, I am not very skilled at platformers, even though I enjoy them. Um, but hopefully this one goes well. Um, Archeo Archeogem. Uh, there is a free demo available on both Steam and GX games. Uh, the game will be out full release on May 17th, so this coming up, was that Friday? Five days from now, when I'm recording this. Um, so yes, on Friday. Uh, it will have a 30% discount on release for a period of time, uh, and the base game was $10. Um, yeah, so... Let's hop into this and let's see how terrible I do in this precision platformer. <laughs> now, some things I do want to point out right away. Um, you have the ability to full screen or not full screen, set the resolution to your preference. Um, there's not much graphically to adjust, but that's just because it's a very simple, visually appealing game. One thing I did enjoy is that they do have multiple control schemes, depending on what you like to play. Um, you've got your control option one for both keyboard or controller, and then the same thing again, keyboard or controller option number two. Uh, so both both have variety to how you can do your controls. Uh, there's also some gameplay options such as flower locking and also a speed run timer. So it is encouraged for speed running in this game since it is a precision platformer. I am not going to be trying to set any records anytime soon. <laughs> well, let's jump right into it. Ugh, biking till here took way too long. But here goes nothing. Lisa's archaeological adventure begins. Prologue. So the only thing I really know how to do is jump so far and select. Oh, interesting. All right, so this starting level kind of gives you a chance to practice your skills, uh, which I am terrible at the whole wall jumping thing. But we'll try it out. That didn't take long for me to f die in uh, epic fashion. I'm enjoying the music, it's very soothing. Okay, C is the whip. Ah, okay. And then that gives you... Oh, <laughs> okay, so it locks on here, and then you have a power. Oops, I did the wrong button. It takes some getting used to. Am I 
supposed to launch myself from here? Oh, I get it. So jump and then forward. Okay. Now there is a gem over there, but I don't know how to get that yet. Leave it be for now. I'm sure there's some trick to get that. But hey. Level complete. So getting the scrolls are how you complete a level. Prologue, zero for one, four deaths. Hey, we moved on. I don't like that it keeps track of my deaths. Don't do that game, that's rude. <laughs> We're doing better at this than I did with Eden's Guardian. Can't be too sure, though. <laughs> we did get a gem, though. Feeling pretty happy about that. Ooh, to get this one, I got a suicide, right? Yep. supposed to survive this one. <laughs> I, I get the idea, like, you're supposed to stall here for a second, but... Uh, this is, uh, this is where th platformers get too complex for my hands to deal with, like, my brain. Too quick of reactions. <sighs> I keep falling... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell happened there? I might not be able to get further <laughs> than this part. <sighs> oh. Holy, we did. We did. We did. We did. <laughs> uh, that was more difficult than it should have been for me. Oof. Ah, we almost made it. I need to do one more, like, side jump to get that one. <sighs> I'm hitting my head on that one block when I'm trying to jump on that wall. I need to not do that. I'm jumping too soon is what's happening. There we go. Whew. Oh, no, no, no. Gonna wait, jump. Ah. OK, 
Okay, how do I get across this one? I gotta intentionally fall and then jump back up to get back on the platform when it rematerializes. It's just gonna take some timing. Oh, I almost made it. I thought it was gonna come back then. No, oh, I made it. I killed myself. All right, so this one I gotta like fall with it. Okay, I got that. Oh, I didn't make it back up in time though, so you gotta make it. No, wait, you can just jump through the bottoms of them. Interesting. I didn't realize that. That's good. <sighs> yes. He's empowering the way I feel right now. <laughs> Standing on the edge of death. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, sometimes the when I play platformers, the character just does not do what I'm trying to do. Like, it does the opposite intentionally. <laughs> and I know it's me. It's my ability to process when I'm... That's frustrating. Do, 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 do. All right, so I go in here. Nope. I was supposed to stay on that wall, but for some reason I jumped off of it. Just to cling into it like I did over here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> God, I can't even get up on the first pillar. Stop, game. St stop. <laughs> Please, game, stop. Uh, this is pure torture. I think my goal is going to have to be, like, getting past level one. I don't think I can get past the second one if I can even get past level one. Give me back my strategy games. <laughs> I complain a lot, but honestly, the, these are fun challenges for me, even though I suck at platformers. They can entertain me for a little while. Oh, <laughs> how did I survive that <laughs> for a second there when I hit the I guess I swore I hit the spikes there? I swear, like, when I was a kid, I used to be good at these, too. I don't know if it's... Alright. We're switching. Actually, I don't know where my controller is, so I, I, I can't get that handicap. I wish I could. Any more flower powers, please. That might help. Mentally. Why can I not double to the left like I'm supposed to? It's like mentally cannot do it. I can get the right now. But the left is like beyond me and it's not like I'm not hitting it to go back to the wall. Oh, didn't didn't stick with it long enough. Uh, I'm going to say this might be it in the end because, uh, yeah, I can't get past this spot. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> don't care if I'm getting made fun of. I'm terrible at platformers, but... Uh, I think I could have done it from there if I had gone to the right at that point, but I just don't have the reaction speed for it. 
Nope, no, you can't. So how do you get across there? <laughs> yeah, this this is probably it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, sorry. If you guys are any good at these types of games, this seems like it'd be a really fun precision platformer. Definitely pick it up and play it if you like these types of games. It's certainly tricky for me, but that's just because I do not excel at platformers. I just don't have the, the mental skills for getting past things that require precision when it comes to uh, controls. Not when it comes, like, if I could use my mouse to c move my character, I'd be good. But keyboard, directional controls, precision-wise, no, I cannot. I just can't. I'm not meant to do it with a... Sorry, can't. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you again next time. <laughs>